Meghan and Harry aren't going away anytime soon, according to one royal watcher. The couple still has an ongoing deal with Netflix and what is thought to be a multi-book deal with publisher Random House meaning the Sussexes are likely to remain in the limelight. Writer and broadcaster Esther Krakow was asked what the Sussexes would do following the South Park drubbing. You would think they would fade into obscurity, at least one would hope, just to see if there was any truth in the privacy that they were so desperate for, she said. In the South Park episode, the Prince and Princess of Canada, who closely resemble Meghan and Harry, go on a worldwide privacy tour while promoting a book written by the Prince titled WOG. Speaking to Sky News Australia, Ms Crack who added, the reality is, Harry's book is just one of a multi-book deal so, unfortunately for most of your viewers, there are more to come. I'm sure Meghan has some books in the works as well. They're going to try to continue their goodwill tour while sprinkling in their criticisms of the royal family at every given moment. They're not going away anytime soon, that's for sure. Some projects are already in the works. On Netflix, a docu-series named Hearts of Invictus will follow athletes as they prepare to participate in Prince Harry's Invictus Games. The Duke created the Games in 2014 for wounded or sick service members, both serving and veterans. The series will follow the athletes who participated in the 2020 Games which were held in 2022 due to the Covid pandemic. The Sussexes also hold a deal with publisher Random House. Spear is sure to have pleased the publisher by becoming a bestseller overnight. There have since been rumors that Meghan will pen her own memoir and Prince Harry hinted to a journalist that he had enough material for another book. With media endeavors, both speculative and confirmed, ahead, it appears the Sussexes are set to remain in the spotlight. The news comes after it was revealed the Sussexes were invited to King Charles' coronation, although it's not known if they have received the invitation or whether they will accept. The coronation will be held on May 6 later this year with thousands of guests set to attend.